Our roadmap um, at Van Wall uh, has been one of looking forward to new opportunities and new accountabilities. I had the opportunity to work for John Deere as far back as when I was an Iowa State student. Um, I had the opportunity then to work for them as 10 years in their uh, management training program. And after doing quite a bit of traveling for John Deere, I actually asked the question, maybe I'd be a better dealer than I would a company guy. How would I do that? Um, they introduced me to our territory manager and I had the opportunity to become a junior partner with Donald Wall, and that's from where the Van Wall comes from, Van Howling and Wall. We started in a small store um, in the small town of Woodward, Iowa, and then we had an opportunity when the dealer next door had some health issues to add his location uh, to ours. We were only about 12 miles away. Back in Iowa at the time, there was 150 dealers in 99 counties, and they all had separate ownership. So. I had one of the very first uh, dealerships with two locations. Um, and we took that idea and continued to grow that um, from the 1980s on and add additional locations that were all contiguous throughout that central Iowa area. And as that continued to happen, we um, actually added additional counties and grew to the point where we're involved now in 35 counties uh, of Iowa's 99 counties and have responsibility for somewhere in the neighborhood of 6 million acres of productive agricultural ground. So it's a big responsibility and with it comes a lot of accountability as I mentioned earlier. So as we look at this idea of precision agriculture, we need to be leaders in that area. Um, we absolutely do because the only way that our producers are going to continue to be successful and sustainable is that they need to have decisions that are driven by accurate predictable data. As I saw precision data coming, it became clear to me that that needed to be the focus of our whole organization. And so from the very top down, it has been about um, solutions driven by precision data. So we actually created our own roadmap and we call it Solutions 360. Uh, you've seen that logo, I'm sure. And that says that we're not only going to take the data, but we're going to make sure it's accurate, we're going to make sure it gets applied, and we're going to make sure we have the right equipment to apply the data to. In addition, we're going to offer uh, risk management through crop protection, and we're going to have agronomy uh, to those that want to marry the data with crop production. And we call that Solution 360. So we want to wrap uh, the precision element around the customer to the extent that they want to use it. So that's the foundation of the precision strategy uh, for Van Wall. So I've got to make absolutely certain that the strategy that we have as a company is being driven uh, through um, its leadership team. We spend a great deal of time thinking about how we're going to be the clear first choice when it comes to precision agricultural solutions. So it is an ongoing part of our business model. It's a separate division in Van Wall, uh, separate, has separate P&L. We see it as being uh, fundamentally the difference between our future of being a leader and the, being the clear first choice and not. You know, without it, it, it just isn't going to happen because we have to do this the very best. So the roadmap has to run through leadership. You can't just say, well, well let's, 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 let's see what we can do here. We are measuring ourselves all the time. You know, one of the key metrics we, we talk about is engaged acres. We measure that every week. We measure that every month. And we have that as a point of discussion at our ag sales meetings. And we meet with our, our precision and our ag sales teams. We meet together. We're teams. And uh, one of the questions that comes up is, well, how do you marry the ag sales team and the precision team as one. And 
It's real simple. They are our teams. And we assign precision people to ag territories and they work as teams. They go out and talk to customers teams. They set up equipment as teams. Uh, they design uh, the right uh, application as teams. Um, and they only see themselves as teams. And precision data, precision agriculture is moving so fast. The equipment side is moving so fast that it's very difficult to keep your hands around the whole thing. So our strategy is we're going to work as a team to keep our hands around it, try to understand as much as we can on both sides of the fence, but make sure we got this guy over here that absolutely is the best at precision data management and application, and this guy that's absolutely the best in terms of machine optimization. You marry those two and away we go. I think the first thing that we've determined is you're not necessarily uh, a precision specialist and a sales specialist at the same time. We don't look at our precision people to have uh, as their subtitle salesperson. We look at them as being consultants. In other words, so they have to love the data management. They have to love the precision application. They have to love the fact that it's got to be just right. It's got to be uh, the data management and data integrity has got to be just right and we've got to have the latest software and we've got to keep that software on those machines and we've got to be able to answer those questions real time in the field uh, when the question comes up because there's nothing more difficult than having this investment in a precision machine with precision data capabilities and not being able to drive it to the operations center real time. So they are very focused on that. They love that. They love engaging with the customers and they love knowing that they're making a difference in that area. They're software people, they're hardware people, uh, they're agronomy people, uh, they're salespeople, they're all the above, but primarily they love the idea that they're making a difference in terms of the margin that they're allowing that grower to create with the precision applications that they're sponsoring. Mike and I, uh, Mike's my son and our chief operating officer, we interviewed, we personally interviewed every new employee with, on the Horizon team, 110 people. And we did that because we wanted to know where their passion was in terms of what they're doing today, what they'd like to do, what they see their roadmap. And, and we found that there were uh, four or five people on their team that loved and were driven by the precision data management piece. So we're very fortunate that we have a team already in place there that'll be able to continue to drive our vision of being the clear first choice when it comes to precision uh, data management and precision application. We're also very fortunate their acres, their acres that they were uh, in, uh, engaging was about 54% just like ours. So they are no stranger to the idea of being part of this. Uh, their team leadership believed in it too. So we're very fortunate there that we're marrying two teams that were going in similar directions. Uh, we just had an opportunity because of our scale to have even more focus um, on some of the other peripheral opportunities that precision data management offers like agronomy, crop insurance, um, et cetera. So uh, we're really in good shape there. We're excited about where we're going there and I don't think we're gonna see a drop off. In fact, they had a couple of people that are very highly skilled that I think will add value to our team and teach us some things as well. Some of the cooperatives have developed some software capabilities on their own and they want to drive data into their software pool. Uh, some are very happy to take the data that's being driven into the John Deere Operations Center and move it in uh, to their system. But our focus is making sure that we are supporting them when it comes to precision data management no differently than we are another customer. In other words, just important that the customers that they're working with and applying agronomy for have that same data that they can both share. So we found that it become it is becoming a critical part of our equipment management strategy with uh, the large cooperatives that might have a hundred of our machines. Well, think about the amount of acres that they are impacting in terms of precision opportunity. And if we're doing our job, we're making sure that the grower is getting the full benefit of that through their uh, strategy. Uh, we see that is that as one of our biggest opportunities is to 
make our service technicians, as an example, make our parts people, uh, make those folks aware of the capabilities that we have. They don't necessarily need to know how to execute them or integrate them, but they need to be able to talk about them uh, when they're at the counter with the customer. They need to be able to share, well, you know, um, had, had you thought about this? And the technicians out in the field, hey, what about making sure we've got this um, capability on your machine? Um, so our goal in 21 will be to educate the parts and service people to understand the capabilities, the opportunities that our machines have. So we're in there, when they're in the right conversation, uh, they can at least speak to it. That's our, that's our next big step. So unless this data gives us information that allows us to make decisions, that allow us to be more profitable, then we've missed, right? So uh, the next big step is to make sure that the data we are giving to the grower is allowing them to make agronomic decisions that are going to improve margins. Now, that means better information, more timely information, information that is more engaged with the soil itself. In other words, what's happening in the soil that we can execute and act on. And so um, as we think about it, sensor technology is going to be a big part of the future. Uh, we have sensors in our combines now, right? We have sensors in our tractors. Uh, we have sensors in our planters. Uh, the next big step, I think, will be able to have sensors in our soil that drive information that allow us to make precision data, agronomic decisions real time as well. So I think that's the next big opportunity. And we're very much involved in that, uh, working with Iowa State University and some patents and those types of things. So that's our next big step. One of our business divisions is uh, AquaCheck USA. And AquaCheck USA has only one purpose at this point, and that is to make available the very best sensor technology for the soil that uh, the most accurate. So we can measure water uh, content, we can measure temperature, and um, we're looking at, okay, now how do we measure these other components that will drive our ability to make real-time decisions with that probe. And that's really the thing we're focused on now is getting to that next level.